You've been such a blessing to us, Father. This is week number 116. 116 weeks we've been doing this thing for Thursday, the prayer call. Plead the blood of Jesus, Lord. Lord, this is another miracle Thursday, Father. We go call miracles into a distance, Father, and we want to say thank you for your miracles. I ask of you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, for the, all those that are new on the line, like Brother Russell and a few other people, want to say thank you, Lord. Lord, I want to ask of you, Father, that you just open up our minds and our hearts, Father. You said pick up your cross daily. We pick up our cross right now, Father. And, Lord, as, a, as, as, I, as I pick up my cross, Lord, I ask you, Forgive me of my sin. I repent. And I ask my brothers and sisters on the prayer line to, to repent and ask God to forgive you of your sins. Lord, I ask that your blood just move freely, Master, across this phone line to each and every person on this phone line and their families, Lord. Lord, I pray for the two twin sisters today that I met, that, that I prayed with, Father, and, and I ask you that you bless their families. I ask you that you bless the twins. I ask you that you bless their ministry, Father. Lord, I just ask you that you bless the women on this prayer line, Father, that you continue to give them strength and wisdom and, and upgrade their hearts, Father, upgrade their minds, Father, and put them under your wings and cover your feathers. Continue to give the women on this prayer line the power that they need to continue to move forward in you, Master. Continue to move forward to the men on this prayer line, Father. Put them in a rightful place to serve you, Master. Put them in a rightful place to not be afraid to be bold, Father, and to speak. Speak as you asked us to speak, Father, to touch the hearts and souls of young men and men and young women and women and those that are in need to know that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. And I just want to say thank you, Father God. Lord, it is going to be a magnificent night, Father. Miracles are going to take place. Miracles, miracles are going to take place, Lord. And I want to say thank you for the miracles that have taken place last week and the week before last. I, just, I remember, Father, three weeks ago, and we said this is going to be a, a miracle Thursday. We go call down miracles will take place. I was looking for a primal care doctor for over a year. And we said miracle week. And that next day, I went to the hospital. And that Monday, I had a primary doctor. And I want to say thank you, Lord, for the miracle. I was complaining, Father. And, 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 I, and I've already got tests done. I've already had ultrasound on my kidneys, my heart, my, my, my pelvis, all, all of the, my, 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 my gallbladder, all the things that needed to be looked at. And they did the blood from diabetes and everything, Lord. And I just want to say thank you that, I, that I'm getting checked out, colonoscopy and, and all these things that I need to get done. And you, you are able and like Brother Russ today, when, when I saw him and God said, go and say something to your brother. And then he came over, we prayed, and, and I felt the anointing of the Holy Spirit move through his body. And he, his healing has taken place. Lord, you, you're so awesome. And I want to just say thank you, Father God. And I know that you're going to make a way for him and his wonderful wife for 21 years to be together, to live together. And the devil is alive, and I know, God, you are making a way right now. In the name of Jesus, you're setting people and angels aside for that 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 wonderful glory that you go get, Father, when when they're back together in one household. And I want to say thank you, Father God. I want to say thank you for Brother Horace Coleman. He's always been so powerful, and the, and the words that he sent through our the communication line has been so wonderful, Father. And we just want to say thank you for Brother Coleman. And as we bring Brother Coleman in right now, this is week 116. Plead the blood of Jesus. Come on, Brother Coleman. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This hey, hey. is another. This is another thankful Thursday. And I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here because this is the day that the Lord has made. And he has made this day for 116 weeks. We have been here glorifying him, praising him, and giving him all the honor, the praise. And we just like to say thank you. Thank you at this moment. So tonight, thank you. I will listen. Hallelujah. I will listen tonight. It's going to be about a forced change. We're going to talk about a forced 
change. You know, back in the day, travelers during Jesus' day didn't have the convenience of street lights. Nighttime journeys meant not seeing the stumbling blocks in the road. However, daytime walks meant well, well lit paths, making it easy to avoid the potholes. In the Book of Psalms, one nineteen and verse, uh, verse one hundred five, it says, "The word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path." You know, following Jesus' light. Following Jesus lights your path. Applying his teaching to your life will help you avoid the potholes and keep you from stumbling. But, but if we take our eyes off the Savior now, we become susceptible to the falling. But we got to focus our eyes on Jesus because he lights the way for us. But the moment we look away, our our paths become dark. And then an instant, you can find yourself on the floor wondering what happened. So, brothers and sisters, by keeping the sun in your eyes, not the S-U-N, the S-O-N in your eyes does require intentionality. You must decide to follow Jesus, then pursue him vigorously. Reading God's word daily, developing a relationship with the Creator through prayer, applying Jesus' teaching to your life. Always we keep a light in our path. Now, if you feel surrounded by darkness right now, invite Jesus into the room. Ask him to light your path and give you direction. Now, often God only gives us enough light for the next step. But knowing that, all we need is what we need for today. So, brothers and sisters, don't get caught up into the distractions of this world. Yes, we had a murder in New York, Buffalo. We had a situation in Uvalde. We had a situation uh, yesterday in Tulsa. Those are distractions for you to keep your eyes off the prize. If you keep worrying about worldly things and 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 going on, you gonna get caught up into it. You gonna right. get caught up into watching the doors at a grocery store because you think a gunman gonna come in there. God is gonna light your path if you let Him direct you. So that's my that's my thing tonight. That's what I have for you tonight. I want to say thank y'all for listening to me for 116 weeks. It's been good. It's been great. So now open up your heart, open up your mind, and let God use you too as he uses us. So let's let's just enjoy the rest of the night, and let's give God a hand praise and Brother Cliff come back on the line. Thank y'all. Amen, Big A. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother, brother Dwayne Carraway. All right, Jesus. Lord. In the name of we, Jesus. Come on, brother Dwayne Carraway. Bless us. Bless oh, our, Bless this. Bless, bless. Bless. Bless the thank political you. situation of this world, brother Dwayne Carraway. Uh, Heavenly Father, I just say thank you. I thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for my mother. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for watching over her. Sitting anxious around us. She's 93, Heavenly Father, and she's just as free as a bird, Heavenly Father. Thank you for my brother, my entire family. But most of all, Heavenly Father, thank you for this prayer line, Heavenly Father. Thank you for both Horace and, and Brother Cliff. And to everybody that's on here that's committed and been committed for 116 weeks, 
Heavenly Father, and those that have just started, Heavenly Father, just thank you, Heavenly Father. Harvest talks about lighting the path, Heavenly Father. The prayer line, Heavenly Father, is lightening the path, Heavenly Father, for us to be able to see where we're going, knowing that you have your arms wrapped around us at all times, Heavenly Father. I pray for all of our families, all of our families, all of the struggles, all of the people in prison, all of the people in the hospital, those in the hospital, those that are mourning lost ones, Heavenly Father. I just ask for strength, Heavenly Father. Help us to give them, give the family strength to to know and know that you are you are God. You are our, you are our Father, Heavenly Father. Just thank you so, Heavenly Father. Politically, Heavenly Father, I just pray that those folks up there in Washington D.C. that they get some gazoopers behind themselves and stand up and take care of the business that they're supposed to take care of, Heavenly Father. Forget being a Republican. Forget being a Democrat. Forget being an Independent. Heavenly Father, we are your children, Heavenly Father. We are your children. It happened to be your America. We are your children. We we are your children, Heavenly Father. It just happened to be in America. And Heavenly Father, we, we, we are struggling with all of the losses of these lives, Heavenly Father. These kids that are being killed, Heavenly Father. The, 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 the folks being shot up in church, the folks being shot up in the supermarkets, the folks being shot up in the hospitals, the folks being Shot up in the theaters, Heavenly Father. That's nothing but the devil. That's nothing but evil, Heavenly Father. Get those folks that don't want to see the light, that want to keep supporting the devil, Heavenly Father. Give them the heart, the mind, Heavenly Father, to, to get rid and just take care of the things that they should be taking care of, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we got to come together, Heavenly Father. We are your children, Heavenly Father. You created heaven and earth, and you also created Adam and Eve, Heavenly Father. But Heavenly Father, when you only created Adam and Eve, Heavenly Father, we got people in China, we got people in Africa, we got people in Brazil, we got Americans, we got everybody, we got all kinds of denominations of people, but you only started with two, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, now they've separated and hating one another. Get this hate out of here, Heavenly Father. Oh, I just pray for us. I pray for the world, Heavenly Father. I pray, so I pray, Heavenly Father, for peace. I pray for peace, and I pray for love, Heavenly Father. But politically, give these elected officials the the, the nerve, the gumption to stand up and stop the fight. And if you're going to fight, fight against the devil, Heavenly Father, and bring peace all around the world, Heavenly Father. I ask these prayers in your son Jesus' name. I pray for peace, love, and happiness, Heavenly Father. As we walk in your in your footsteps, Heavenly Father, I just pray and ask for forgiveness. I confess my sins, Heavenly Father, and ask for forgiveness, Heavenly Father. I just pray and I ask for your prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Father, Amen. 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 We go, we, we're going to bring Brother Matt in. Uh, before we bring Brother Matt, I just want to say, Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine, oh, what fortune, mercy divine. I'm going to change the lyrics up a little bit. Jesus, we love you, we love you, we do. Call in your blood, Lord, blessed are you. We need you now, Lord, come in your way. Blessing those family lost loved ones today. We are at battle against Satan, but your glory, Master, defeat everyone. No demon stop us. Your armor strong. Glory, your anointing, bring the power on. Say, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress, and his mercy is definitely, definitely, definitely divine. Come on, Brother Matt. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Prayer time, prayer time. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Heavenly Father, as we come to you, humble ourselves. Seeking your face, thanking you for your forgiveness. And before we come to the attendance, 
Thank you for washing our sins, making us whole again, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, as we seek your faith and turn from our wicked ways, Heavenly Father, we praise your holy name. We lift you up. We magnify you. You are worthy to be praised. We exalt your holy name. Heavenly Father, we just say thank you on your day. This is the day you have me. We will rejoice and be glad in Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, thank you for Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace over our lives, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, thank you for, for letting us focus on you. That's where it started, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, just thank you, Lord, for who you are, your glory. I know mine, Heavenly Father. Thank you for washing our sins, renewing our minds, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the spirit of wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of you, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, as we lift up the family members that lost loved ones in this tragedy going on in this world, but everything is in the Bible, Heavenly Father. You say, Lord, if we keep our mind on you, you will keep us in perfect peace. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving them strength, comfort in the time of need, Heavenly Father. Thank you for keeping your loving arms wrapped around them, giving them hope, Heavenly Father. Thank you for picking up the pieces for them, Lord. Thank you for the family members, the loved ones, Lord. Thank you for supporting them, letting them know you is God. You can't do nothing but lean on God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, just thank you, Lord. We lift up these politics. Thank you for washing their sins, renewing their mind. Let your will be done in the White House, in politics, Lord. Thank you for softening their hearts up. Heavenly Father, make right decisions. We welcome the Holy Spirit. Have your way. We welcome you. We're two or three together. You is in the midst, Lord. We thank you for being in our presence, Heavenly Father, your Holy Spirit. The men and women on this prayer line, Lord, I speak the blood of Jesus over them and their family members, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving them a breakthrough, a miracle. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for delivering them, healing them in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we believe in your resurrection of Jesus. We believe in your healing power. We believe in your mercy and your grace. We believe in your word coming forth to where someone might say, what must I have to do to know Jesus? Confess your sins, believe in your heart that Jesus raised him from the dead, and make Jesus Lord of your life. Welcome to the prayer line, the newcomers. And thank you, thank Lord, you. for your thank mercy you. and your thank grace. You, man, in the mighty name Earth. of Jesus. Thank you for traveling, Grace. We about to go to this world service, Lord. Thank you for sending your angels before us to protect and serve and watch over us while we go. And thank you for bringing our family members back from the enemy camp, Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus over this prayer line, the prayer line from Chicago, Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus over the men and women of God. Thank you for giving us strength and courage to keep going, keep on, keeping on. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit empowering us. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Amen. At this time, I'd like to bring Brother Alan Branson. I ask Alan Branson. You know, he's getting ready to pray. But I just ask Alan Branson to touch the school system, to, to these youngsters, the computers, to the, the, the touch what the, 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 the devil would have just come in and, and don't leave. Twitter and Facebook and all the negatives and the evil that's out here now, to go in on all that God has put in his spirit to plead the blood of Jesus on. Come on, Brother Alan Branch. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you for your prayers. I decided not to drive on the freeway, you know, so I pull over here in Conroe and truck shop and I'm going to read some scripture because I don't want to read and I'm going to pray you know, get back to going one of the most Amen. famous well known comfortable uh, everybody's heard of scriptures in the Old Testament definitely the most familiar Psalms in the Old Testament well all the Psalms are in the Old Testament the most familiar Psalm out of all the Psalms is the 23rd Psalm Everybody knows some part of it, but I'm going to read it. The Lord is my shepherd. I like nothing. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. 
He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Yet though I walk through the darkest of valleys, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely goodness, surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. We, and before I pray, have access to a God that gives us the ability to navigate, that leads us and guides us and protects us. God is saying here in this psalm, through the personality of, of, of David, that here on earth, we are going to encounter some danger. We're going to encounter some enemies. He, God is an all-knowing God, created Alpha and Omega, like I talked about last week. We serve a God that knows all, knows everything. Everything that we see going on in this world is not God's will, but I guarantee you, like I told a man today, that nothing in this world is going to interfere with God's will. God knows that his will has to be navigated and, and dealt with in some of the things that you guys have talked about, in some of the evil times, in some of the regular times. Guns aren't evil. Computers aren't evil. It is the satanic nature and demon-possessed human beings that are God's creation that have been so contaminated by by Satan's influence that utilize these things for an evil purpose. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. What that scripture is saying is we're not dealing with the human factor. We're not dealing with guns. We're not dealing with cars. We're not dealing with computers. We're not dealing with the Internet. We're not dealing with social media. We're dealing with the evil intentions and the demonic spirit that manage the human beings. Some human beings have allowed to take charge of them through various nations and utilize this for the purpose of Satan's will. But what God is saying to us in the 23rd Psalm is that, yea, do you walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah, you're going to have enemies. I'll prepare a table in front of your enemies. God is basically telling us that we're going to have to navigate this evil, but he has us. If we commit our way and commit our heart and commit our faith and our trust in him and not these things. These things are going to fail us, but God won't fail us. He created us for a purpose, to worship him and be with him in eternity. Just as we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. I want to pray for a couple of minutes. Father, we come tonight, Lord, asking for your grace and your goodness and your and your presence in our hearts and our minds. Lord, let us not be confused. Let us not be distracted, as Brother Horace says, in the midst of all of the contamination, all that the satanic nature of everything and how Satan is busy, because we know that the evil will not overcome your good and your righteousness. Give us yes, the strength Lord. to hold on to your unchanging hand in the difficult times. These are not the first difficult times that we've seen, and it won't be the last. Until you come again, Lord, that you'll keep us, and we'll keep our faith in our hand in your hand, and that you'll protect the families and all the people that are represented, all the demonic influence, the spiritual warfare, the battles that are fighting day in and day out, on jobs, inside of households, up and down the highways and byways of this United States of America. Lord, you will cover us and keep us. 
We plead the blood of Jesus on us. And then, Lord, we continue to want to carry the gospel. We want to continue to witness to those because nobody is ever too far gone to be saved. So now, Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus on our purpose, our walk, our families, and all that is around us. Make us strong and make us whole, and we hold unto your unchanging hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Brother Allen Branch. As we ask you, Lord, as he's going, traveling grace with our brother right now, we plead the blood of Jesus on the highway, the byways, with an angel, Father, to take charge over Brother Allen and safety, Father, for no accidents, no pulling over by the police, no Lord. nothing. No evil shall come up against my brother. He will be back home with his family, serving you, loving you, and yes. And, Lord, you're going to be maintaining him. And I just want to say thank you that you continue to bless his beautiful family, that you set miracles into his son, that you set miracles into his business, that you set miracles upon my brother. This is a miracle, miracle, another miracle, thankful Thursday. And I just want to say thank you for the blood, the mighty blood. And as I bring Brother Zerada, just come on in and continue to pray right now, Brother Zerada. Flow right into the prayer, brother. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I thank you, Brother Cliff. I thank you, brothers and sisters, for just being obedient unto the Lord, hearing his voice. God says, where it says, he who obey my voice, I will send him high above all the nations of the earth. He should be blessed going out. He should be blessed coming in. We'll make him the lender and not the bar. He'll be the head and not the tail. He'll put us above and not beneath. Father, we thank you. For lifting us. We thank you for turning us around, turning our direction around, Lord. We thank you, Father, for just being God in yourself, just being God in who sits on the throne, Lord, Lord. We thank you, Father, for just your majesty, your wonderful works, your kindness, your goodness, your loving kindness, Lord. We just thank you for it. And, Father, we bind up every principality, every ruler of darkness, every demonic force. We bind it in the name of Jesus. And we decree and put Satan on notice. He has no right over blood of our property. We all have been purchased by the righteous blood of Jesus Christ. We have been redeemed by his blood. We his redemption and inheritance in the saints. Father, we have an inheritance, an inheritance waiting on each and every one of us. If you obey your voice, you will lead us into that inheritance, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you caused the children of Israel to inherit the labor of the people. Father, we are the new Israel. We're the new New Jerusalem. We're the new Jerusalem just sitting down from above, Father. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the leaders of our land, pray for the repentant authority. We pray for all the saints all around the world. And, Lord, we also pray for Ukraine, Father, and all those having problems over there in their situation. We pray for Ukraine, God. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you with all we have, Father. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. And we'll, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, honor, and the glory, Lord Jesus. We ask these things in the mighty, master name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. and amen. amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. The sound that saves me. I was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now, but now I, see. I see. Your amazing grace, Father. We was once blind, Father. We was blinded by the world of flesh. We was blinded by material things. We was blinded by the, the, the sexualities of, of ignorance, Father. We was, we was blinded by drugs. We was blinded by the lights. 
of ignorance and evil. Father, we were blinded by racism. We were blinded, Father. The things that we thought was, was needed wasn't in the grace and the mercy. It was in the toughness. It wasn't in, the, in your peace and your grace and your love. It was in the in the trickery of one who come to kill, steal, and destroy. But, Lord, your grace was sufficient. Your mercy became power. And, and you spoke in us, Father, with that still voice and, and the words of amazing grace. How sweet thou sound that say a wretch like me. I was lost, but now I'm found. But now I see. Oh, Lord Jesus, just want to say thank you. You're so wonderful. We just want to say thank you. Just want to say thank you. Father God, in the mighty name of your son Jesus, Lord, I just want to give all praises and thanks to you, Father. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, that what Satan is trying to put on my head, I, I, I ask you, the Lord, to take it off, Father. That there's yes, nothing no, that no. He, can, he can give me that that that, that belongs to to to, him, to you, Father, because you overall gave me everything I've already needed, your Son Jesus Christ, and I just yes, want to no. say thank you, Lord. I just want to yes. say thank you. You've just been so just so wonderful and so awesome, God. Your awesome, mm-hmm. your awesome mercy and your awesome grace is sufficient enough for me, and I just want to say thank you, Lord. I just give you all the praises, Master, all the glory, Master. There's nothing that the devil can do about it because the battle is yes, yours Lord. and you've already won. You've already defeated. You cast him down yes. like a bolt of light, and then there's nothing he can do about it. He tried all the tricks, yes, Father. Yes. He tried everything to come against you and come against the, the will that you have put together for you, yes, for those yes, that yes. you love, Father. He cannot and will not. He cannot and will not defeat. That which you have put together for us, Father. And we just want to say thank you for the for the love, kindness, and righteousness, Master. Lord, I thank you for the anointing that that I put on today. And I, that anointing is still flowing. And I thank you for your anointing, Daddy. Because I needed that anointing today. Not just for myself, but for my brother Russ. For my brother Alan Branch, for my brother Horace Coleman, for all of my brothers and sisters on the prayer line, we needed your anointing, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. And we say thank you, Father, because we needed it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. And right now, Lord, in thank the you, Lord. mighty name of your son Jesus, this is this is week number week number one sixteen. Week number one sixteen. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to take about 20 seconds of silence for the miracles to just flow right now on this prayer line. I'm going to take a few seconds of this silence. Thank you for your silence, Dad. Father God, in the mighty name of your son Jesus, Lord, I just want to say thank you. you, We want to say thank you, Father God. Thank you. Just want to say thank you. We want to say thank, thank you, Lord, you. And, and we thank you, Lord. and we thank and we need to and we need to Lord. We want to say thank yes, you. Lord, we need this is week thank number one sixteen. Father God, I want to talk about something that is so special, and that's the body of Christ and the family of Christ. The body of Christ, Lord, Lord, I want to talk about the body of Christ because it's so special. It was your body, Father. It was your sacrifice, Master. And then and, and sacrifice, and that sacrifice from the very beginning as a child, you had to sacrifice 
Even when Mary was pregnant in the manger, she she didn't have birth in a in a castle. She didn't have birth in a beautiful, wonderful home, in a manger, in a place that belittles Father, belittles your belittles you. From the very beginning, flesh tried to have his way with you. From the very beginning, Satan tried to come in and and then tried to disrupt. Not 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 in the castle where 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 Pharaoh's son was born in a in the castle and and the, and the thieves of this world was in the castle and in the and and, and the, 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 the the servants in the in the beautiful bed how they praise and worship the newborn of of, of Pharaoh in, in, in the world the newborn of the world and, and here it is the savior. Who is the one who come and serve and save the, the humanity, the world? Was born in a manger, born in, in, in and laid in with a little cloth and and on straw, and and the animals around the manger was there witnessing the, the birth of the Savior, the 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 the, 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 the husband who was the uh, Stepdad of the of of the baby being born had to suffer, had to suffer sin. His wife having the first child that was not his, but of the graciousness, righteousness, the the great I am, the mercy and grace, the God of all his sons. And the stepdad sat in and watched while his wife was given birth. And then and then and even though that he was born in a manger, God said, Let me show you how powerful I am. That I'll bring kings who love me, who are servants of mine, to to come in and bring fracases and myrrh and, and, and wonderful cloths and 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 and, 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 and jewelry and, and things that, that he's gonna need to to be able to be taken care of while he's an infant. She it was born in a manger and, and three come in and, and lay down gifts so that when they left the manger they was able to to buy and to provide and to and to groom and to uplift him. And that's how powerful God given is. See, God would do things unexpectedly. Mary didn't expect the three wise men to come in. And we're not expecting the unexpected that God is doing for us. God said if I give to this little wonderful bird in the nest, how much more would I give to you? And that's so heavy because what did he give to us? The, the the devil came to him and he said, I need this flesh. I need this flesh. I need him to go against the spirit and to, to get so deep into the flesh. So he was hungry in, in the wilderness. And the devil said, I know you're hungry. And I know God is your daddy. And all you got to do is turn these stones into bread to eat. But see, Jesus said, man, don't live by Bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of his father. And you are not realizing that all you got to do is study his word and call down stronghold. He said, life and death is in your tongue. Brother Russell, Brother Alan Branch, yeah. Brother, Brother Horace, Brother Matt, Brother Dwayne Carraway, and me, myself, Brother Cliff. He said, "Life and death is in your tongue. You, you got you, you got a lump in your arm. In the name of Jesus, lump be dispersed and move. You got life and death in your tongue. I call down every stronghold against my brothers and sisters on the prayer line. Life and death is in our tongue. We don't live by bread alone. We don't live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. If you be, if you be the." The son of God. Well, prove to me that you're the son of God. Jump off this cliff. 
jump off this highest mountain and the angels will come down and take charge over there before your feet hit the hit the ground. See, God said, I'll send my angels have charge over thee in all thy ways. But God, Jesus said, thou shalt not tempt thy God. Because God said, if I was hungry, I wouldn't tell you. How are you going to tempt me with anything? He's on the cattle of a thousand heads. I own the mountain. I can speak that mountain to be flat even before you jump. If God owned everything, and like Dwayne says, he's everything, why are we having so many complications with guns? Why are we having so many complications with with homosexuality, lesbian, and the, and, and, the, and the people talking about the the the, the, the they got rights to to do this and do that when Sodom and Gomorrah and, and Noah's Ark and, and now the present day. We're winning, we running rapids with little girls not even in their teens yet. Come on, that's my girlfriend. Not little boys not even in their teens yet. Talk about that's my boyfriend. That they having sexual encounters. The, the devil is running rapid. We don't have to jump off. We can't tempt our Lord, that God. We got to pray for these kids. We got to pray these strongholds down. We fight not against flesh and blood, but principality. Even have places where we gonna take our rightful place and don't have to tempt our Father. Because there's nothing He needs from us but our prayer. All we gotta do is pray to Him, plead the blood of Jesus on these kids. I right? start using the power we gave us. All we gotta do is speak it into existence. That's all we gotta do. When are we go realize when he told Jesus, all the riches of this world I'll give to you if you just bow down and serve me. Why are we out here serving the flesh? Why are we out here chasing the mighty dollar? Why are we out here trying to do things that's unethical to get the mighty dollar? When Jesus told Satan, there's only one God I would serve, and that's my Father. Be gone with you. When are we going to say on earth as it is in heaven? When are we going to say that Jesus died on the cross and, and then we, his, his, he was our provider, and all we got to do is walk into our inheritance by being meek? Blessed are meek for they share inherit. The body of Christ. They nailed our Savior to the cross. They put thorns in his head. They nailed his feet. They nailed. The flesh was against Christ from the very beginning as a child. It was against Christ when he walked in the desert. It was against Christ when they nailed him to the cross. It was against Christ. The, the, the flesh thought they can crucify him into crying out and saying, I, I'll give up and give to you. The evil one, stop the pain, stop the suffering. But that's not, that's not what he did. He said, in spite of the flesh, forgive them, Lord, for they do not know what they've done. In spite of. So when are we going to, in spite of what we're doing, go pray for those that despite the users. When in spite of, we're going to understand that we, we, we're part of the body of Christ when he died and he he rose and came up out of the body and came back in the spirit. We will realize how powerful God gave his son Jesus and the power that Jesus gave to us who are believers. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. You know, First Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one God and one mediator also between God and men. The man, Christ Jesus. Once again, First Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one God and one mediator. Not no two, three, not nobody going to mediate for us. Between God and men, that's nobody but Jesus Christ. And, and that mediator that he became because he died on the cross and rode the third, the third day. We become a part of the body. Because even before he left, he said, me and my father's one. 
He says, if I'm one with the Father and you one with me, Horace Coleman, you one with me, Tammy, you one with me, Ray, you one with me, Matthew, you, 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 you one with me, Ray, Pearl, Eric, Bob. If you one with me, that makes you one with me, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. That makes you part of the body of Christ. You know, First John 2 and 29, if you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone also who is practiced righteousness is born in him. You got to be born in Jesus Christ. You got to yes, be born yes. in Jesus Christ. And when you become born in Jesus Christ, that makes you what? The family of Christ. The body of Christ is because of what Jesus did for us that makes us one with him. And then when you receive him and be born again, that makes you part of the family of Christ. And those things are so precious. Those things are so wonderful. Those things are just, it's just so amazing and and Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. You know, Revelation 21 and 21, and the 12 gates were 12 pearls. And each one of the gates was a single pearl. And the streets of the city was pure gold, transparent as glass. Because he said in my father's house, there's many mansions. And wouldn't I would have told you so. Be thankful that you're part of the family of Christ. You don't have to look for this world to, to give you what you need. Because all you got to do is believe. Jesus said, he said, in my father's house there's many mansions. That's what he said. We got mansions waiting on us. We got them waiting on us, brothers and sisters. And it is nothing that we can't have. Because in the, in the Word of God, it also said, on earth as it is in heaven. Now think about those pearls and the streets paved with gold. And if you say on earth as it is in heaven, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing that we can't have. We can have it all. We can have it all. There's nothing we can't have. And I'm just going to share a few tidbits. Luke 16 and 26. And beside all this, between us and you, there is great charm fixed so that those who wish to come over from here to you will not be able. And that's none, many curses over from there to us. So there's nothing that Satan could put on you. There's nothing that he can come against you when you love and God got your back. He can't bring evil from the other side. To over the heaven, because he was cast out like a bolt of lightning. And if it's on earth as it is in heaven, and you're covered with the, the blood of God, and you got the full armor of Christ on, there's nothing he can do to you. Now, 11 and 16, for you will forget yes, your troubles as water that have passed by you, remembering remember, remember it. It's so much that God has given. It's so much God has given to us that we need to be thankful. We need to just be thankful. We got to be thankful. We got to be thankful that the, that we can have whatever we ask for on earth, brother. Brother, yes, you're gonna get that house. You're gonna get that apartment. Whatever it is God has for you, you're gonna have a place for you and your wonderful wife. Y'all gonna be back together. Been together 21 years, brother. Alan Branch, you gonna that business is gonna flourish. You're on your way to to pain goals and to meet with all these over 36 NBA coaches and all the top ball players in the country. And guess what? It ain't going to matter because it's all come in place and you're going to be a hit because God has already set it aside for you to be a hit on earth as it is in heaven, he said. Yes, Lord. Pearly yes. gates and streets paid with gold. Thank on you. earth as it is in heaven. Thank he you. got Thank you back. All you got to do is ask. Yes. Brother Madden, what, your, your food trucks and everything you got, brother, 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 he's already touching it to expand it 
Brother Bob, and everywhere you go, and what you're Jesus, speaking man. is this, is, he's already given it to you, Bob. Brother Horace Coleman, and, yes. and the way, work you've done, he said, if you're faithful to live, I'll make you rule over many. He's already doing it for you, brother. Yes, brother, Lord. you ain't care where they thought they was going to shut you up and close you down, but God say, I'll give to you in a plentiful and multitude you, but all you got to do is have faith. Ain't nothing they can't do to, to a man and woman of God. All you got to do is believe and have faith. Amen, amen. Father God, I want to say thank you, Father God. Thank you, we want to say thank you and continue to bless. I just yes. ask you, Father, as I, as I extend these, this prayer before we go to the to, before we go to the community prayer, just I gotta, I, I just gotta just ask you to bless right now, brother, bro, brother, 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 Duray. Massage his kidneys and his heart, and his mind is. And continue to bless that beautiful wife here, his kids in his home, and continue to uplift him, Father, because he's here for your will to be done through him. And I want to say, bless him, Father. Brother Ray, as he's working and moving and helping and, and his family and his daughter and his graduation, everything, Brother Ray, go ask you to bless him, Father. Brother, but my brother, my brother Calvin Shelby, is from 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 one situation to the next, the top film producer in America. Make billions of dollars for other film companies from New Line and MGM and, 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 and from Frog Entertainment and continue to move, Father. Bless him and, and continue to massage his hands and his mind for greater works than these he would do, Father. From the film industry to what he's doing with the XSM, Father, the things we're going to do together, Father, I want to say thank you. My brother Rick, Father, bless brother Rick in his business and everything he's doing in the community, Father. I just ask that you pour blessings out, Bastard. My brother, yes, my yes. brother, my brother Carl Wright, my brother Rob Wright, and everything he's just done with these young men from back with Carter to Texas to TCU. And as you continue to expand him as one of the best coaches that ever been, Father. Lord, he, he's been faithful over little time of multiplying, Father, into a greater situation for you, Father. Brother David Britton, bless him, Father. Just calling blessings on sheets and his wonderful family. Just calling blessings, Daddy. Blessings on top of blessings, brother. My brother, my brother, my brother, Snake and the Repetitive. The Repetitive is not going to stand on you. Your your healing is coming. Your walking is better. But God already got your back. He's already moving in you. And and I just want to say thank you for blessing my big brother, Snake, Father God, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus. Just want to say thank you for blessing, brother, Snake, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Continue thank to you, thank bless him, Father God. Thank you. Father God, I just want to say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank I just you, want Jesus. to say thank you, Father God. To Alan McCoy, bless him, Father God. Turner, bless him, Father God. Rob Wright, C.W., Dwayne Carraway, Snake, I want to say bless him, Father God. Horace Coleman, and yes. Kilo, yes, bless him, Lord. Father God. I want to say bless him, Father God. Matt. Bless him, Father yes, Lord. God. Lord, right now I'm going to call into the community, Father, into the veins of the community, Father, and send the blood of the Lamb, Father. And I'm sending Thank the blood you. of the Lamb into the communities and healing the communities right now, Father. I'm taking all of the sickness and the trickery that Satan has yes, put Lord. across the community, and we're moving right now in the mighty name of Jesus into our communities and the veins of the community, the heart of the community. Hallelujah. It's been massaged, yes. healed, and miracles are taking place in the mighty name of Jesus in our community. Yes, Lord. I say thank, thank you, you, Father God. Lord, I say thank, thank you, you that, 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 that they're going to say, man, come in, and the, the kid with a, with an assault rifle that wouldn't go off, that's because Jesus put his hands through the trigger and broke it. And, and then when he get caught, and they jump on him. And, his, and then it comes out that it didn't, it, it didn't go off because I need those on this prayer line to know how powerful you are, Father. The next time someone come to do wrong against your people, Father, yes, Lord. it shall not come to pass. Though you said earthquakes are divided places, Master. Pestilence, Father. I know these things must come to pass, Father. And so, Lord, as these things come to pass with the earth shake and the volcanoes erupt and the hurricane come and the, and the tornadoes hit and the flood coming and then the wildfires hit, Father. And they talk about all these million dollar mansions and all these million dollar communities and all these all these things are happening. Those 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 are, are serving the evil one. Satan comes to collect. But the heads of protection is around those, Father, that love you. The heads of protection, Daddy, 
that you that's the same one you put around Job. I actually put that head of protection around every yeah, brother yeah. and sister on this prayer line right now. <laughs> Father God, I just want to say thank you, Father, once again for giving me a, a primary care doctor that gave me all of the tests and more tests that, and straightened me out so I could be a better servant. And, and I just want to say thank you, Lord. And I want my brothers and sisters on the prayer line, when you wake up in the morning and you better take a breath, don't take breathing for granted. Don't take God's yes, grace for granted. Don't take God's mercy for granted. Don't take Jesus for granted. Don't take the word of God for granted. Don't take the power of God invested in you and all you got to do is speak life and death for granted. Don't take the will of the Father for granted. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. See the power yeah. that God made you to be. He said, greater works than these you would do. Have faith and believe. So, Lord, I ask of you in the mighty name of your son Jesus that these miracles are taking place right now. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Miracles taking place in my brother Curtis Knight. Yes. Miracle in his daughter and his son and yes, his Lord. wife. And Lord, I ask you right now, a miracle taking place as the Spirit is touching her head right now. As the Spirit is moving in her right now. It's, it is, it's moving and it's giving her her memory back. It's giving her power back. It's giving her the, 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 the understanding of what's around her back. Because you're able, Father, and I call this miracle right now. This is a miracle Thursday and it's taking place right now for a dead smell. Miracles take a place, Father. I just want to say thank you for your miracle. Thank I want to say man. thank you for my mother who's 90 years old, who's in her rightful mind. That my brothers yeah. and the, understand you. that they think that we think that she's getting she's, she's getting dementia, and that she's forgetting and she's losing it. And, and then then we we prayed on the prayer line. We prayed and said that yes, it's a lie. And, and now my mother is sharper than anybody. And when she told me, like, wow, she remember everything because God is able. Yes, Lord. Yeah, hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. going to tell you what God won't do. I see oh, two miracles take place. I seen back when she was in the late 70s and the doctor was talking about something's wrong with your heart. And we prayed and, been, and believed in God for a renewed heart and a renewed spirit in the name of Jesus. They took some x-rays and came back and said, you got a heart like a teen what happened? God's miracle is what happened. And don't believe my mom will come in and let you know it happened. Mm-hmm. My brother let you know my mother was having problems with her memory and everything else. And now she's sharp. So hold on to the faith. Hold on to God's will. Hold on to the mercy and grace. Hold on. And believe for your family. Believe for your community. So right Hallelujah. now, the community is being opened up right now. Right now, we open up community prayer. For the community, the community Hallelujah. of God and his son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, because he said greater works. So when you call these things to come to greater works in you, you call down strongholds to, for those that you need called down, for those that need lifted up, for those that you believe God would move. I don't care if it's from Israel, like the race, say, off his down on, on Huff, off his right there, off down in, in Bonton and South Dallas, call on God's will to be yes. done. Father God, as we bring community prayer to all my brothers and sisters, come in and pray. Come in and pray. Come in right now and pray and and, and let God have his way and and call strong folks out. Use the power that God invested in you. We're the body of Christ and we're the family of Christ. Because we were born again, made a family of Christ. And the body of Christ, because he died on the cross for our sins. And and he came and rose the third day and became a body because of the month. You want to be part of the body of Christ. Be thankful to be part of the body of Christ. Be thankful to be in the family of Christ. Be thankful that Jesus has the throne. Be thankful that flesh didn't have his way, but though he to beat him from a child all the way up, try to beat him in the desert, try to beat him on the cross. They could not beat Jesus. The flesh did not win. Jesus beat the flesh. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, this is a mighty, 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 thankful Thursday, and miracles is taking place right now. I call miracles right now for Brother Russ. Thank you for coming and joining us, you and your beautiful wife. 
And I ask the people of the West to have faith in God and not man. Have faith and pray and say, God, I know you're going to make a way. I may be in a hotel today, but I know soon I'll be in a place that you're going to be able to call my home because you're going to make a way. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, thank you for Brother Jeray. Thank you for the body. I know one day, Father, like you did with my mother, you're going to reach through his Kidneys, oh, and he's going to be holding it. 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 Miracles is taking place. <laughs> Father God, that situation is going on in the atmosphere that they want us to, they say they want us to be fearful. But so you say you don't give us a spirit of fear. Who has been trying to tell us all along, you can't be afraid of this coronavirus. He said it two years ago. He said, trust in the Lord all the heart, lead not on us, and not even all the way that he would direct. Who said, let God direct your ways, the path, and believe in him. <laughs> and don't believe in the fear. Don't let Satan bring fear, but but know that you are a child of God. Brother Alex Grant said over and over, power, the power in the word. Praise for the word. There's so much been going on. There's so much is out here, and they want us to be fearful. They want us to be fearful. They don't want us to be. They don't want us to have the strength that God gave us. They don't want us to understand that we have. Right so yes, with, no, uh, over their laws. He said, "Rent on the Caesar with the Caesar, rent on God with his God. Caesar can never render over God. He got to bow yes, down no. to God because he's seven knees shall bow and every tongue shall confess. So, yes, Father yes, God, no. in the mighty name of your son, do you want to say thank you for giving us laws, Father, that's on earth that we have to buy? But, well, Lord, we thank you. That you, Thank you, you over all laws, even that man made. And anything yes. that's not right with the laws that they come up against with voting, is, that's not right, Father, you handle it. Any laws they yes, come Lord. up when they're trying to go into school systems that they can't teach what them went on because they're trying to, they to redline the education system to say if it's red, mm-hmm. it's ignorance, and if it's yellow, it, it's some ignorance, but we can, we can work through it as blue, it's okay. But racism is a lie. We, and we plead the yes, blood Lord. of Jesus on racism because the blood is one color. It ain't red. Yes. It, mean, it ain't yellow, blue, or green. It's red. One red, good blue red. They try to yes, say the Lord. blood, they try to say the red line is evil. It's where all the poor people is. Okay, I don't mind being in the red line of the poor people because <laughs> God said, <coughs> that the first will be last and the last will be first. I thank you for Amen. taking us higher up in you, Father. Thank you. I thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus. I thank you for the red, the blood that man is saying, this yes, red Lord. is red of poor and poverty. But that's okay because Jesus started in poverty on, in the manger with his mother, Mary. And, 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 and then, then, then the three came and, and gave him riches so that, 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 that Joseph, as an earthly father, sat back and watched God as a heavenly father come in and bring riches to his son as he is growing, as he's learning, as he's building him. I say thank you right now, Lord, for the, the riches that you're putting into my brothers and sisters right now. The changing that's taking place in Russ's finances, the changes that's taking place right now in the finances of the brothers and sisters on this prayer line. It's miracles going to take place. I don't know how y'all will get these envelopes. I don't know how this money is going to be taken. But I know the people in this prayer line are still on this prayer line. I know this is going to be a miracle week, and you're going to get money that, that, that you're not even knowing that's coming to you. Money is falling out of the sky to y'all this week because yes, God Lord. said it can be all down strong on the asphalt. Lord, Lord, right Lord. this week yes. going to be a miracle Thank financing you, for the brothers and sisters on this prayer line. Money is going to be Lord. coming in. It's coming back in line talking about, wow, brother Cliff. Money just came out of nowhere. Hey, money like with like with like with like like the old town even more. Our miracles is taking place in our financing. And Lord, there's, there's silent killers in 
in our bodies right now, Lord, and miracles taking place right now that we may not know about, but you know, Father. And we call every stronghold down in the bodies of brothers and sisters on this prayer line right now that who is hearing a voice that's coming out of me, the meditation of my spirit, from me to you, God, that miracles take place in their body and move these demonic situations out of their body and heal them in the name of your son, Jesus, Father. Lord, it's just been a wonderful yes, week, Lord, 116. And thank miracles you, is taking yes. place again. And I thank Hallelujah. God for brothers that's been talking and speaking and praying and loving. I thank yes, God yes. for a newness and those that have come in and been coming in. And I just want to say thank you, Father God, for Brother Dwayne Caraway. I want to say thank, thank you for you. Rick Roberson. I want to say thank you, Father that eyes are being Thank opened, you. doors are being closed that don't need to be opened, and new doors are opening that don't cannot be closed. I want to say thank you, Lord. And, Lord, Amen. once again, this is a miracle week coming up. As yes, we close, Lord. Our yep. miracles is taking place. And, Lord, right now, bless the families on this prayer line. Bless yes, the Lord. body of Christ on this prayer line. And, Father God, we want to say thank you for your son. I want to say thank you for your heaven. I want to say thank you for allowing us to be able to be a part of the body and the family of Christ. And yes, Lord, we ask you, please, the blood of Jesus, do a, a transfusion through our, our body right now as you cleanse us with the blood, as we drink of you and eat of you, Father, as we have communion yes. with you, Daddy. We ask, Father, for the mercy and the grace. Jesus. Jesus, there is something about that name, Master, Savior, Jesus, let all heaven and earth proclaim, kings and kingdoms may all pass away. But there's something, something about, about that name. The name Jesus. The name Jesus. The name Jesus. The name Jesus. We want to say thank you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, continue to move in us. Continue to build in us. Continue to, to let the, the plea the blood of Jesus rise to the next occasion as more and more people come on. Continue to use us to touch others, to bring others to your will, Father, that they may find yes. you, seek your faith, turn from their wicked way, and they may ask for forgiveness. You may hear them, Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, and then you may heal their land, Father. Just want to say thank you. In the mighty name of thank Jesus, you, we pray and look forward to week 117 next week. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, and I love everyone on this prayer line. This is the plea the blood of Jesus, 116 week. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You, Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, brothers. Glory.